Just going through the whole justice system is violence. If, you, if you're a single mother and you're a sex worker and you get arrested, who's going to take care of your kids? If you decide to leave sex work for any other reason, then you have a charge on your, on your records forever. And so trying to get a job, trying to get to school, trying to get a, a degree, it's pretty hard. You hear the term walking while trans. That is just the basic um, thing of walking down the street and the interactions when you have people do with transphobia slurs, um, people misgenderfying you, interactions with the cop, police harassments, and violence that you face just walking down the street. And so just, and just imagine with these, um, these laws that criminalize sex work, the most vulnerable of those people are people, um, trans people and trans people of color. And so when you, when you look at the arrests, you see most people are trans people of color. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Project Rose has got to go. In 2013, Monica Jones helped organize a protest against Project Rose, a collaboration between the Arizona State University School of Social Work and Phoenix Police. The program combines prostitution arrests with the offer of social services. What they did was they use Backpage, um, arrest um, street-based sex workers and to get them to go to this church, which is called Bethany Home Bible Church. And they took them there, handcuffed it, um, and to try to get them service. If they refused service, they were um, prosecuted. Sex work is a job. It should be respected as that. And so as a social worker, you need to address the issues surrounding like education, um, housing, healthcare, access to healthcare, HIV and other laws around that instead of focusing on sex work. Hours after the protest, Monica was arrested and charged with, quote, manifesting the intent to commit prostitution. What is the manifestation charge? That's basically um, criminalizing everyday action by what area of town you're in, what you're wearing, talking to passive buyers, um, hell in the taxi, having condoms on you, asking someone if they're a cop. What these laws do is basically criminalize everyday action. And so it's, it's disproportionately um, targets um, women of color and trans women of color. If you're a police officer and you're transphobic and you have a bias, you can just use that. I was arrested and convicted and tried um, for this manifestation. What happened later is that I went to trial the tr and the ACLU joined in. They filed a motion to dismiss all challenge the constitutionality of the law. Eight days later, the prosecutors decided not to file any more charges against me. After her arrest in Arizona became a national news story, Monica lobbied at the United Nations in Geneva for an investigation of human rights abuses committed by the U.S. against sex workers and transgender women of color. I'm here to talk about sex worker rights and the the stigma and criminalization of sex workers. We went and talked to a couple of, of countries to get them to um, ask the U.S. to um, honor recommendation 86. I also address issues over, about trans issues and um, prison and um, the violence that um, sex worker rights activists face. Uh, what's next for me? Trying to finish school because right now my school had to get have taken a hit because of my case and my activism. And so trying to finish that, um, get my degree, um, continue my advocacy work uh, for trans rights and sex worker rights. Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs>